In last tutorial, we created simple character rig and animation from few simple parts. In this tutorial, I will show you how to replace existing character parts, add additional pieces and animate them by using hide and show options in Dragon Bones. First, I need to export additional parts from Photoshop to character library folder. That includes updated body parts such as heads, eyes, stages for sight and three-quarter view and mouth shapes for speech animation. Second, I need to export fire flames in different stages. When I switch back to Dragon Bones, I have direct access to exported parts and I can see them in project library. Now I can replace existing head with a new one without eyes. Right click and navigate to the replacement image. Select neck bone and add two additional bones. One for eyes and second for mouth. Next rename bones and make sure that the head image is attached to neck bone. If not, click it, drag it back on the top of the neck bone. After that, you can add second image of the head to the neck bone. First, align it to side view. Next, drag it on the top of the first head image instead of the neck bone. This way, only one image will be visible at any given time. Next, place eyes on the top of the eye bone Align them into proper position and order for side view first. Drag first eye on the top of the eyes bone and other two on the top of the first eye image, as we did with the head. Switch head to quarter view and repeat process. But this time drop images only to the top of the first eye image in proper order. Now you can animate eye blink. Next we'll add mouth shapes, the same way as we did with the previous parts. Choose your main mouth shape for quarter view. Align it on the top of the face and then drag it and place on the top of the mouth bone. Align other pieces in the stage and place them on the top of the first mouthpiece in the armature menu. The last part that we need to add is fire. Select hand bone and add additional bone to it. Name it fire. Check if hand image did not switch to newly created fire bone. And start arranging fire flames next to the bone and on the top of each other. Again drag first fire flame and place on the top of the fire bone and other flame pieces in proper order on the top of the first fire flame piece. Now you can move the fire bone into proper position. Switch back body parts to original position. When you switch to animation view and try to hide fire, it shows up again because we have existing animation. In this case, you need to return to armature view and turn off fire visibility. I need to do the same thing with my character eyes. Switch them back to eyes side view fully open position. Next I will add few extra poses to stop my character in place and create hand pose for the fire animation.
In animation view, go to Fire Bone to show all the fire burning stages and make first stage visible. If you cannot see your keys, right click over animation stage. Finish animating fire burning and adjust position of the fire bone to match hand position. By adding images to the bone, you can animate fire bone independently from visibility. Next, let's animate head turning and eye blinking by turning images visibility on. Next, I will animate side head eye blink. With this simple rig, you can also animate character speaking. Thank you.